been getting a lot of questions about how oysters reproduce on the live show every Saturday at 10 a.m. New York time. The video today is not about how they reproduce. It's more about the next step. I haven't got to the spawn part. That'll come up soon. Uh, but this is where they go and they find their new home. There's a whole bunch of little baby oysters swimming around in that little gray bucket. And they're not. now they're going to go find a place to sit down and have a home. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I would go ahead and uh, let's co do a comparison. Hi, what's up? What size is it? So there you have it. A whole bunch of little baby oysters in that bucket. They're swimming around. And now they're going to go in and they're going to set. What's in the tray is crushed oyster shell. And that's what they're going to go and find. They're going to find them. So we should have sat in a few hours. Oh, yes, yes. John Paul. No, he uh, was it in Thomas? Last time I was So here with Brian Parker. So Brian was setting. You see, you can see them. We've already, we uh, Bart and I put these uh, in at two twelve just a little while ago, and you can see they're already setting. They're already setting on the edges of the tray, but they're also all setting on the crushed oyster shell. They seem to like the side better than they like the coast. Well, that's good. The reason that is is because we can see the side. It's very hard for us to see what's going on on top of the cult. Good point. But as you can see from the other trays, they set all over the cult. Now, so we set this tray. This tray here was set when? That tray was set probably 10 days ago. And you can see we've already sifted out three times out of that tray. You just did it with me before. Yep. And so you've done it, I've done it, I did it on the weekends. So we still have hundreds of thousands of oysters in there. And over there we're running hundreds of thousands of oysters. These guys are much bigger over here. Okay, they're, they're the big guys. Uh, so you can see that all these oysters here, these are getting big. We didn't sift this one today because we didn't have time. But they're perfectly happy in here. And uh, you can see that we, Tim and I poured some extra in here the other day, and they're all over the sides. So, uh, so you'll scrape those down off of the sides? Yeah, when they get right. a little bit bigger. I like to leave them on to get some kind of head count going. Um, you can see, see the progress. Yeah, and then we'll take, you remember, remember a week ago, there were big oysters all over these trays, but you and I scraped them all off. And that's, it's a good, you know, it's like, it's a good way. There's still some oysters here. You can see that how big that oyster is right here. You know, we've left there intentionally. And uh, he, there's a couple there, they're there. So that gives you an idea of how big some of them are after just a few days. And that has to be temperature. Food. It looks like we're ready to. So when Brian said we set them at 212, that means that we that we sieve those little baby microscopic, almost microscopic oysters through a sieve that was 212 microns. A micron, a thousand microns is one millimeter. So this is almost a quarter of a millimeter in size. Okay, so what's the next step? The big ones in the far tank, they're going into this new Biloxi that I'm building. I go to these conventions to learn stuff, and this is one of the things that we learned. And you know what? Brian is so gracious to let's try it. He's always willing to try some new stuff. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put them into a new Biloxi. Let me show you what a Biloxi is. Ooh, here it is. I'm building one up. All about that later on. If you like what you saw, please rate, comment, and or subscribe. Love you guys. We'll see you next week.